So how do you differentiate according to to the to the Galatians chapter 5 eh? Mm-hmm. Ile the fruit of the spirit. Na ile sasa kwenye Biblia inasema in the book of Ma- Matthew mm-hmm. eh kwamba muti muti uzao matunda mm-hmm. usio za matunda. Mm-hmm. Eh mm-hmm. muti usio za matunda yes, ukatwe mm-hmm. na kutupa motoni. Mm-hmm. So how do you how do you differentiate between a fake pastor mm. na huyu ambaye ana preach the truth because ni wengi man facebook una live 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 sasa unajuaje kwamba pastor eh ama huyu huyu hii ni fisi na hii sasa ndio rom takatifu feel and yes. preach the truth hapo lazima ni hapo lazima uh, rom takatifu aingie mm. oh, no. so you must be intimate because with, with jesus ju mm. kuna mahali kwa biblia na sasa hiyo ni mahali wapi kabisa lakini wacha ni quote vile inasema. Mm. Inasema kutatokea manabii waongo mm. ambao watakuja na miujiza na many signs and many wonders to the effect they would also almost confuse the, confuse the, the, the elect. elect. No na wenye wamekuwa kwa Yesu mm. ukae hivi useme ai kitu ai ai hapana bwana. Huyu 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 hapana. Huyu hapana. Hii mambo nimeona hapa hii hii mm. Mungu yuko hapa. Mm. Na ujikute pale umeenda umejipatiana na umeanza kufanyia drama pale. Wewe mwenyewe yes. utakuta umefanya drama. Mm. Tu tumeona vitu mingi sana. Wewe jiulize. Umeona watu ni maloya wamesoma wamepitia uh, secondary school na kila mahali lakini unakuja kanisani unaambua kunywe dumu. Ama mafuta hata. Eh, ama mwingine niliona amekaliwa kichwa. Eh, sasa unajindo hii. Kuna mwingine niliona jana anapiga kofi. Wewe wanapiga kofi kwa kichwa. Pa pa pa. No, ni mtu ako smart, ni mtu ako na familia yake, ni mtu amesoma, mbona anafika mpaka mahali anatumika in this design? Hapo inakwambia kuna kitu haiko. Yes. Si mambo tu na ile wadu huyo mtu ana preach. Juneza kuja nifanye drama na nifanye miujiza mingi sana mpaka wewe mwenyewe ushindwe. Sasa hapo ndio itakuja ujiulize huyu mujiza imetoka kwa Mungu ama imetoka mahali. So kuna muujiza wa Yesu na wa shetani? Aya. Kwa Biblia kuna Act 1616. Mm. Kuna msichana alikuwa ana prophesy na alikuwa anafanya kwa divination na alikuwa anaongea ukweli. Mm. Alikuwa anasema these are the servants of God. They show us the way to salvation. Hawa ni ma, watu ni servants wa Mungu wanatuonyesha njia ya kuto, ya kuokoka. Hiyo mm. ni ukweli ama si ukweli. ukweli? Those were servants of God. Na alikuwa anakuja na ubiri but kuna si, ilifika mahali Paul akakasirika na yeye. Na Biblia inasemanga huyo msichana alikuwa ameletea the family yake eh hey, masters wake mm. a lot of wealth mm. so you need to understand that at the fact that mtu anakuja na kuambia kitu haimaanishi anatumia roho ya Mungu i think at uh, before you continue unapata mm. even in the book of exodus yes sir wakati ambapo mu, eh, wakati ambapo moses mm. anataka kutoa wana israeli misri mm. eh, wakati ambapo alikuwa anarusha chini hiyo fimbo pia waganga wanafanya aje wanarusha wanarusha mm. So which means shetani ama waganga wanaweza fanya miujiza na kama yeye sana kama kanisa <laughs> if kama tutatembea na ile power na ile mandate tunataka mm-hmm. tunafaa tuache kuangalia hizi science hizi mm-hmm. vituko vituko ma drama mingi 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 turudi mm-hmm. kwa injili mm-hmm. jumi na juuliza hivi brother yangu umeona mm-hmm. ndio ifike mahali mpaka Paul aseme hapa sitoki mm-hmm. shikeni and kachif zangu endeni mkaekelea mm-hmm. Handkerchief. Kama handkerchief inaponya mgonjwa, nataka kuamini ingekuwa ni hii wakati yetu. Nimekuja umepatiwa handkerchief, imeenda imeponywa watu kadhaa. Hiyo handkerchief utakuja uifanyie nini huyo mtu amepatiwa? Si watu utakuta imekula kakare mahali kwa kanisa hapo katikati watu wanaiomba. Unaona? Kabisa. But hiyo wakati wa Paul alikuwa ako so busy preaching the kingdom of God. Ana time ya kwenda kuombea wagonjwa. Ana time. Ana wakati. Hata kivuli chake tu akipita. Hata hizo drama za kwenda kila mahali yeye anataka aeneze injili. Anafikiri ndio vile atatoka hapo aende Crete atoke Crete aende Thessalonica atoke Thessalonica aende Galatia mm. atoke Galatia aende Ephesus yale afikiria vile atenda kule Malta. so wakati hao watu wote lazima akuje pia awa 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 deliver according to the mandate ako nayo mm. inafika mahali anaona badala mimi niende enda na hii handkerchief mm. <laughs> cause to him the main thing was kubiri Yesu azema kubiri Yesu mm. na the power of his resurrection. Hiyo mm. ndio kitu ilikuwa inamdrive kuliko mm. hata hizi vitu zingine. Hizi zingine alikuwa anafanya out of the love that he had. Wow. Unaona? Mm. Na ndio maana saa hizi kama kanisa ndio tuache kufanya hizi gimmicks na watu. Mm-hmm. Hivyo unasema kondom nono anakuliwa. Mm. <laughs> yeah? Lazima ufike mahali ujue sasa ni wewe na Mungu na Roho Mtakatifu. Ndio ukiingia mahali uketi hivi. Wacha roho wa Mungu aku, akuongoze. Biblia inasema mm. the feet of the righteous mm. are ordered by God. Yes. So hakuna vile ukiamka asubuhi na unaenda kanisa ujai kimenda. Ambia mm. Mungu leo nipeleke kwa mahali umenitengenezea neno lako. Yes. Ndio nikifika pale ile neno nitapatiwa ikwe ni neno itanijenga na ni neno iko 
compliant na ile situation napitia. Wow. Hiyo ndio kitu tunahitaji. Mm. Intimacy na mm. roho mtakatifu. Na roho mtakatifu. Mm. So mtazamaji that is mm. the answer and mm. nimekuwa nikitafuta ijibu for a very long time. Mm. Utajuaje kwamba huyu mm. huyu ni fisi mm. ama huyu ni pasta wa kweli? Mm. Huyu ni mchungaji wa ukweli mm. anachunga kondo na huyu ni fisi nitakukula itikula wewe mfuko yako, mwili yako, biashara yako. You know the answer is pretty simple. Mm. Ukue na uhusiano wa karibu sana mm. na roho mtakatifu ndio akufurudie. Mm. Mm. That is the thing. So wewe pia kama you are a leaking vessel, lazima pia utajua. Uko hapo leo umepita na kasichana, kesho umefanya corruption, hizo mm. zingine. Yaani wewe you are so arrogant, mm. you will not even recognize. Mm. So hata wakikoni watakukoni tu. Mm. So but if you are so much close to God, mm. atakufafanulia. Mm. Now church mm. and the government. Mm. What is the role of the church? kwa serikali kwa sababu unapata wewe unaona kwamba wachungaji ama mabishops wengi wanaitwanga tu time ya breakfast wakati ambapo maybe unapata kwamba maybe tuko na breakfast meeting ndio mapaso wanaitwa pale kuomba mm. siju ni kuombea chai ama kuombea viongozi <laughs> ama time inauguration ama meeting so is is our work to just be kuitwanga pale kwenda kuombewa ama tuko na kazi nataka na tufanye ah, kanisa of course iko na kazi mm-hmm. kanisa iko na kazi mm. ju tukirudi kuangalia the journey na agenda ya Mungu akianza kwa Biblia. Mm-hmm. Uh, wakati ali, alipatana na Abraham akamwambia nataka kutengeneza nation kutoka kwako. Mm. Alikuja akajirezia nation. Na wakati wa, wa, watoto wa Israel walienda wakaingia the promised land, walikuja wakaambia Mungu anataka nini? Mfalme. Mfalme. Ndio wakuwe kama wao wengine. Mm. So inakwambia before that time God was their king. God was the government. God was their government. Mm-hmm. So walikuja wakasema sisi tunataka tukue na government yetu. Na wakapewa wakapatiwa mpaka wakapatiwa wakapatiwa mpaka 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 warning. Kambo huyu mtu atawa atawa tax, atachukua vitu zenu mm-hmm. nini. Ndio wakasema ni sawa ni wetu tunamtaka wetu mm-hmm. pati. <laughs> tukue kama matatu mengine. Wetu patie. Rola. Mm-hmm. But sasa God in his mercy alitupatia uh, an order. Ju kulikuwa na wafalme, kings, kings, kulikuwa na makuhani, priests. Mm-hmm na kulikuwa na manabi prophets. Mm, prophets so there was the king there was the priest and there was the prophet the, the prophet now the prophet tukiangalia wakati king alikuwa anapointiwa mm. prophet ndiye alikuja aka anoint king mm, kumwekea mafuta kumwagilia mafuta mm. na kumkalisha kwa ile kiti mm. sasa na prophet ndiye alikuwa akitafsiri anapatiana hiyo unabi kusema ni nani Mungu amechagua. Mm. But sasa after walichagua lineage ya David walikuwa najua kwa hii lineage ya David juu Mungu alikuja akasema kutoka saa hizi itakaa kwa lineage ya David mpaka yes. mwisho. Hapo tulijua order itakuja hiyo. So prophets walikuwa na line tu watu. Mm-hmm. But ikikuja kwa priest priest sasa alichukua hiyo 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 mantle ya kuingia kuombea king na nini nini. Mm-hmm. Na ukikuja uangalie wakati wa Ahab mm-hmm. juu hapa ndio kulikuja na hiyo corruption yes. inaona saa hizi kwa mm-hmm. country yetu wakati Ahab alikuwa king mm-hmm. akaacha kufuatana na mambo ya Mungu so aka, akasau mambo ya priest wa Mungu akasau mm-hmm. mambo ya altar ya Mungu akasau mambo ya kanisa ya Mungu akasau hizi vitu zote hiyo mm-hmm. ndio wakati government ilikuja uh, uh, kanisa ilianza kuingia bali ya government juu sasa hapo ndio watu wengine walikuja wakaanza kuingia mm-hmm. the prophets of Baal wakakuwa na keti kwa meza ya king wakakuwa mm-hmm. na muadvice na vitu kama hizo mpaka Elijah akakuja kusimama kurudisha Mungu pale mm-hmm. so what am i trying to say i'm trying to say size mahali tuko kanisa inafaa ikuje kwanza then government mm-hmm. ya pili si wakati shida imekuja ndio government inakuja kuita kanisa mm-hmm. kanisa ninafaa ite government iwaambie kuna you shida hapa na kuna shida pale ukifanya hivi ukifanya vile mm. nimeona manabii wengi sasa kwanza saa hizi nashukuru juu Mungu ameanza kujinua mm. nimeona manabii wanasimama kwa altar zao mm. wanaongea mm. na wanasema kama mnataka kusikia mengi kuliko kuhusu kile Mungu ameniambia mm. kujeni munitafute Uku. mimi niko hapa mm. sikuji si huko uko. that is the order <laughs> that is the order Mhm. Njoo munitafute niwaeleze kile Mungu anasema. Mm. Juu unasikia nabii anakuja na kuambia nimeona kitu fulani, nimeona hii, nimeona ile, nimeona ile. Na hii ndio itakuja itendeke hivi na itendeke mm-hmm. vile. Kama unataka na apeseme hiyo ingine ni Mungu amenizuia kusema. Lakini kama unataka nikupatie details mingi, kanisa niko hapa. Mm. Iko mahali fulani. Njo nikwambie. Mm. So that is the order where the government listens to the church. Mm. Kazi yetu ni kuwaombea kuwaongoza na kuadvise na kuadvise mm-hmm. lakini imekuwa the other way 
Hao ndio wanatu advise. Wanatufanya. <laughs> <laughs> Tumekuwa kazi yetu hata tuangalie Mungu tena. Mm. Tukitaka kujenga kanisa tunakimbia kutafuta MP. Mm. Tunakimbia kutafuta MCA. Tukisikia kununua kitu kanisani drums at ni MC. Kwani kwani Mungu ameacha kubariki kanisa? Alafu hawakija kanisa tuna change order. Ye umeka watu pale mbele sasa. umepatiana pulpit mtu amekuja ametukana watu kwa madhabahu hiyo ni mambo gani bana mm-hmm. Na these are the things zimefanya kanisa ikose ile ile authority Power. ile authority mm-hmm. that unaweza simama kama mtu useme kesho kama leo Na acha nikwambie authority likuanga hata kwa biblia mm-hmm. Kuna time Elisha alikuja mm-hmm. akaitwa kwa king wakati kulikuwa na ile siege of samaria mm-hmm. watu wamekaa pale wamekulana mpaka watu wameanza kukula watoto wao mm-hmm. kichwa ya punda yeah wamekula mm. vichwa za pundwa mwingine amesema nimekula mtoto wangu leo huyu tulikuwa tukilo wake kesho amekataa it was a very bad state mm. it was a very bad state prophet wa Mungu akaitwa pale mm. akakuja akasema kesho kama saa hii kwa presence ya king mm. hii kitu itakuwa imefanyika hivi mm. kulikuwa na mtu pale nataka kwa kwa, kwa simu huyo jamaa alikuwa cabinet minister anasema mm. ah unatuambia snake hata Mungu afungue dirisha za mbingu <laughs> i think the statement hiyo yeah. statement hiyo <laughs> <yote> ilifanya <laughs> <laughs> Unaona? Yes. Akamwambia ndio ujue nimesema. Mm. Utaiona na, na utaikula. Mm. So niambie King akikuja aulize kitu tena ata doubt. Ah, that is the kind of authority and the kind of power that needs to come back to change. The, the other day nilikuwa najiuliza. Mm. Tuliona si wenyewe kwa TV kanisa mtu amekuja ameshikwa nini vimefungwa. Mm. Sawa. Nimesema mm, tusigather tusiombe. Nilikuwa najiuliza mtu atolewe ICU leo. Mm. Na kwa ni mtu anajulikana daktari mm. labda ama hata hata kiongozi ama kiongozi mm. utolewe ICU covid imekulima ile ujaiona mm. unakufa wakubebe na ambulance wa kuleta kwa mlango ya kanisa hiyo kanisa huyo pasta hata asiwekele mkono aseme amka utembe mm. amke atembe kuna siku kweli tutaikuwa na shida ya kuganda kanisa itafunguliwa hiyo kesho hiyo siku <laughs> that is the kind of authority and power that needs to come back to the church mm. na sisi kama intercessors na sisi kama wa Kristo hiyo ndio governance tunasema this is the church governance yenye tunaombea wakati unasikia kanisa tukiombea revival mm. tunaombea vitu kama hizi ndio tukisimama pale ukiingia kanisa urudi na kile umekuja nayo umekujukua kahaba unatoka ukiumeokoka wow. unakujukua na shida kwa mgonjwa unatoka ukiimba unakuja bila mgumoja unatoka na miguu zote mbili hiyo ndio power hiyo ndio governance hiyo ndio authority tunataka kuona kanisa wow Mm. That is the power that is the governance we need in church. Mm. Kabla tumalizie interview yetu tutagusia tu kitu kidogo hapo eh, is the church ready for revival? Mm. Kanisa tuko tuko tayari kufanya revival. Ah hiyo ni hiyo ni swali ngumu juu <laughs> juu ju, ju, sasa kanisa kama vile tulisema mm. kuna watu wameombea revival miaka na miaka na miaka mm-hmm. kuna mtu atakwambia nimekuwa nikiambia hiki tu for 30 years mm. mwingine akwambia nilianza kuambia juzi kuna watu wanakuanga kwa mlima kuna watu wana fast mm. eh? wamejinyima kwanza wakiambia hii revival na feel the, na feel tuko ripe tuko ripe juu kitu ya kwanza nikitaka kuangalia kila revival nikianza kutoka kwa ile revival ile hapa juu the biggest revival yenye imekuwa sustained mpaka leo ni ile revival ya Pentecost yes the upper room revival mm. <laughs> ilikuwa hiyo ilikuwa na watu 100 tu 120 yes. wenye walikuwa kwa upper room na wakati walipata ile impartation na ile move ya Mungu walienda kila dunia na wakahubiri neno na mpaka leo ile neno walihubiri ndio ina uhuru wa sahi wow so when i look at that template ndio niache kuangalia hizo templates zingine juzi templates zingine zilikuja zikaisha mm. wesley john wesley revival ikaisha mm. the azusa street revival ikakuja ikaisha mm. and all these other revivals that happened during all this time zilikuwa kuna ile kitu ilikuwa ina trigger na kuna na juu ya hiyo kitu ilikuwa ina happen inakuja inakuwa na one of the reason nilikuwa inaisha ni juu watu walikuwa wanajaribu ku contain wanaifanya yao unakuta mm. mtu anajiita kama ni kama ni mimi sasa najiita Ken Patrick Revival. Mm. Juu mimi ndio natembea na miujiza, mimi ndio natembea na hiyo neema na kuja hapo hivyo watu wanakuja wanajaa kwa stadium and I try to make it my own. Mm. Na unajua the moment unajaribu kujifanya ni wewe sasa uli ghost ukuja anatoka. Mhm. Then unaachwa peke yako. Mm. Ukiacha peke yako hapo ndio drama utokea. Juu sasa uwezi nuu ukiweta tena utafanya nini? Utaanza kufanya drama. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say mm. is that every believer sa hii tunafaa tu kwetu kililia Mungu that revival to yone. Mm. Juu ni kitu ilitabiriwa. Na ile time ilitabiriwa it is due. And let me tell you something my brother Mihona. Mm. We need to understand that Biblia inasemanga wakati yes, wakati Mungu alikuwa anaongea na Abraham, mm. alimwambia watoto wako wataka as slaves in a foreign land for 400 years. Yes. Lakini tukikuja kuangalia kwa Biblia walika 430 years. So hiyo 30 years 
Kwa ni namanisha mungu alikosea? Mm-mm. Does it mean mungu ni muongo? Mm-mm. It tells you kuna kitu ilifanya watu wakatari for 30 more years. Na hiyo kitu ndio tunaomba isikujifike wakati wetu. Mm-hmm. That tumiambua hii ndio time ya revival lakini tusione. Daniel anasemanga wakati alisoma vitabu mm-hmm. ya Jeremiah mm-hmm. alirealize walikuwa wanafaa kwa captivity for 70 years. years. Mm-hmm. Na wakati alisoma alirealize time ya captivity imeisha. Mm-hmm. Hiyo ndio time aliingia prayer for 21 days. Mm-hmm. To claim for the manifestation of this yes. world. Yes. So that tells you there is a knowledge that we must interrogate in the spirit. Mm. Then like vile tulisema, every revival is preceded by a sound. Mm-hmm. Ukiangalia hiyo revival tunasemea ya upper room. Mm-hmm. Ilianza na sound ya Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. It came a sound, then the fire fell. Ikikuja wakati wa John the Baptist, he mm-hmm. said, I am the sound. Then Jesus came. Mm-hmm. The move. So hata sasa hizi nimeona God ameanza ku align watu because the kind and the quality of message that is being preached sasa hizi watu wanataka injili mm. na hiyo cry hiyo sound ndio itaasha mm. revival wherever you are mahali uko chukua hiyo kama kanisa yako chukua hiyo kama madhabahu yako chukua hiyo kama pulpit yako wale watu wanakuja mahali unafanya kazi wale watu unapatana nao mahali unaenda kununua kufanya anything mahali Mungu tu amekuweka hiyo ndio mahali anataka u establish kingdom yake so kama 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 a child of god whatever you do in everything that you do put god first turudi play mahali ya maombi turudi mahali ya kutafuta Mungu mahali ya kusikia Mungu kivyetu tusikuje tuambie Mungu aliniambia hata wewe anaweza kuambia